So I have to ask the question, what the hell am I looking at here? What, 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 what is this? This is the very first teaser image for Birds of Prey, right? This is the newly released Birds of Prey teaser poster from Warner Brothers and DC Films and Kathy Yan and Walter Hamada and everyone over there at the DCU. This is the very first thing we're looking at here. And, and, uh, oh boy, oh boy. It's, um, it's a thing. Okay. It's, it's, it's a thing. Uh, some people really like it. I don't hate it, but I also don't love it. I, I, I it's kind of like hot garbage, but the kind of hot garbage you want to see how it turns out anyway. So just looking here at the image itself, we get to see that obviously Harley Quinn kind of in a weird Tweety Bird scenario, uh, bonked on the head, potentially from her own mallet. And uh, she's seeing all the people that are in the, uh, the, the, the movie with her, all the other characters floating around her head like a bunch of birds after being, you know, uh, like in an Acme uh, or a Looney Tunes cartoon. Right. But we, we zoom in here and we get to see it's basically the whole cast. Right. A couple interesting things. We She's got the, the heart tattoo. She's got the rotten still on her face. But my issue with that, though, is everything just looks like it's it's hand drawn on. Like it's not an actual tattoo. It's just part of the makeup, which just feels kind of weird considering. Well, when you uh, when you come over here and you look at the bottom part of the image, you see the daddy's little monster tattoo over her left breast, which was what we saw on the T-shirt in Suicide Squad. Also, what sold a lot of merchandise. And here she actually has a tattooed on her which makes me really question exactly if that was in Suicide Squad, if that happened after the fact, we don't quite know. But what really draws my mind is it, my, my, my eyes is this mind over mayhem choker tattoo scrawl on her neck. It's so dumb. It looks like it was hand drawn on there. And, and never mind that, which is just dumb. I still hate the title Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn, which is just... So I, I get what they're going for. Like they're trying to play up the Suicide Squad aspect of the like over the top color and the and the stylization. I get that. But there's been rumors that this movie is like an utter mess. Uh, there's leaks that have come out that have kind of suggested that it's an utter mess. And the marketing of it, I think, is being so over the top that it's it's trying to really play into that. Uh, especially if you look here, she's got all these uh, charms around her neck. You see a dog tag, a fish hook what appears to be a, a female symbol. Uh, it just, you know, like, okay. Like, I don't even really know what her look is going for. Uh, if, if the emancipation maybe isn't like her from being a villain to being a good guy or her emancipation from the Joker, we don't quite know, but it's, it's just all over the place. Anyway, let's take a look here at the, uh, at the, at the character breakdowns. This is honestly the, the better resolution I can get my hands on. You can't really, they didn't release that high of a, of a, of an image of it. But what we have here is Cassandra Kane. Uh, the, the young damsel in distress, so to speak in the film, uh, with her broken arm in the cast and she's sucking down a milkshake. Okay. I don't know if the milkshake is any kind of, if there's any reference to it in the film, we'll find out later on. Uh, we do see uh, black canary, uh, kicking, uh, kicking some ass with her, with her, uh, clearly seventies inspired boot cut, uh, jeans. There's another name for those too. Like, um, I can't remember bell bottoms. There we go. That's the word I'm trying to think. I'm an eighties kid. I was born in 82, well past the bell bottom era, but, uh, she's kicking ass. We see Harley here herself, which again, I find that to be kind of weird, more of like a fourth wall meta thing. She sees herself with a mallet, which makes me wonder if it's like her own imagination hit her in the head. And this is what she's seeing as a result of her conscience. I mean, like I'm probably overthinking that entirety but we see she's got more of the tattoos on her uh the the daddy's little monster tattoo is not visible uh, above her left breast as it was in the um uh, in the other shot so i'm not too sure if that's just something's photoshopped in or perhaps when they took this photo they didn't put on the fake tattoo uh we get to see here uh black mask this is black mask uh so i would i would say at this point that the that the theory that the rumor that Black Mask is gay looking to get back a sex tape or something along those lines is probably pretty accurate. The makeup on Ewan McGregor, the outfit on Ewan McGregor, the blowing a kiss from Ewan McGregor. Oh, that is definitely, definitely flamboyant. And that is clearly what they're trying to showcase here. But the gloves are an interesting thing because I think that's, uh, I think that's more in line with like the Black man, I don't know. There's something about gloves in the leaks that I've seen, and it's just like, oh my god. Anyway, uh, Mary Elizabeth Winstead here as Huntress. Uh, looks like she's gonna kick a lot of ass with uh, Victor Zaz. And, and honest to God, 
Um, this guy is Victor Zaz is what I'm most interested to see because, um, I'm, oh God, what Mike, I forget his name, like Mike Mencia or not Mike Mencia, but I forget the actor's name. Uh, but I like him quite a bit. I want to see him as Victor Zaz, although the beard doesn't really do it for me. That's the first time we've seen him with the beard. We got the promotional, they had that little behind the scenes teaser, uh, showing like the promotional shots and whatnot, or like the character shots. Uh, he had the bleach hair, but he didn't have the uh he didn't have the beard so that's a new one uh again the the shirt the the bleach hair the beard the look on his face uh kind of goes in line with um i mean potentially could be black mask's lover that could be i mean that would be something uh and then we've got uh, rosie perez over here uh who i forget who she's even playing in this movie I, all i know is rosie perez is in the film uh and she's just kind of hanging on the side over here tells me she's not going to be that main of a character. Uh, I mean, and that, and that's, that's really about it. This is, this is the thing. I mean, it looks cool. I could see some, some kids, some kids getting this poster on their wall. Like, Oh, I can't wait to see this movie because, you know, Harley Quinn was a big draw of, of, of the original, you know, of suicide squad. She was one of the things that, that kept it going, that helped it get to, to the 800 some odd million that it made. And, and I get it. And that's why she's getting this spinoff. And Margaret Robbie is clearly heavily involved in the design of this. Uh, this is clearly throwing everything against the wall to see what sticks. But this marketing is just not necessarily what I would consider to be good because it doesn't. And maybe maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm not looking at it the right way. It could be all those things. I don't know. But I, I look at this poster and I just go, ah, no, I'm not going to stop and, and, and ogle it when I'm, I'm at the theater. I'm not going to stop and look at it and go. And, uh, you know, I'm going to see the movie because it's my job to see these kind of things. And I am excited to see what they do with it. But everything they've done marketing wise leading up to the movie, even the trailer that was the teaser that was in front of it, chapter two, uh, just feels like they don't know how they want to market this movie. And so the marketing team is just doing everything it can to maybe keep the conversation alive, to maybe keep the conversation going and to, to maybe distract us. From from seeing that the movie is in is in some bad shape because of this, I, I don't know I, I, anything could happen. But I just I look at this and I'm like, ah, eh, not impressed. But I'm curious to know what you guys have to say about this. How how do you feel? Do you feel this is going to be good? Do you feel this is going to be bad? What are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm curious to know. Uh, be sure to please like or dislike either or, uh, and le definitely let me know why either or. And subscribe if you're new. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Have yourself a great day and peace out.